The E39 Coastal Highway isn't just a convenience, it's an economic catalyst. By eliminating ferry crossings and cutting travel times, the highway will streamline logistics for industries like fisheries, oil, and tour. A $47 billion price tag, 1,100 kilometers of brutal coastline, Norway is building the world's most ambitious highway, connecting remote communities and cutting travel times in half. But this isn't just another road. It's a battle against raging seas, towering fjords, and nature's fury. Bridges that defy gravity. Tunnels plunging beneath ocean floors. But why take on such a colossal challenge? Is it about progress or pride? This is Norway's coastal highway, a project so daring, it's rewriting the rules of engineering. But at what cost? Let's watch the video, but before we start, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos. The beginning of an ambitious journey. How do you connect a country where nature rules supreme? Norway's western coastline is as beautiful as it is challenging. Picture dramatic fjords cutting deep into the land, mountain ranges stretching as far as the eye can see, and small villages tucked away in isolation. For centuries, this geography shaped life in Norway creating communities that thrived on independence yet struggled with connectivity. Traveling along the E39 route, which spans from Christiansand in the south to Trondheim in the north, used to feel like a test of endurance. Seven ferry crossings interrupted the flow, and the journey took up to 21 hours. But in 2009, an idea began to take shape, a vision of a continuous coastal highway that would eliminate ferries, shorten travel time, and bring Norway's western coast into the modern era. This wasn't just about convenience, it was about uniting a fragmented region, boosting trade, and opening doors to endless possibilities. But the challenges were monumental. How do you build a highway through one of the most rugged terrains on Earth? The Rodfast Tunnel, diving into the deep. What does it take to go where no road has gone before? The Rodfast Tunnel is not just a part of the E39 project, it's the crown jewel of Norway's engineering ambitions. Spanning 26.7 kilometers and descending 392 meters beneath the sea, it will be the world's longest and deepest Subsa Road tunnel upon completion. Imagine descending into a tunnel that burrows beneath the seabed, surrounded by crushing water pressure, and emerging minutes later on the other side of the fjord. For Norway, this isn't science fiction, it's a soon-to-be reality. But constructing the Rodfast Tunnel is no small feat. Engineers must battle geological uncertainties, ensure safety under immense water pressure, and maintain an eco-friendly approach. Despite the odds, work is progressing, with the tunnel expected to open by 2033. This monumental project alone will slash hours off travel times and set a new benchmark for global infrastructure. But Rodfast is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. Floating tunnels, a bold step into the future. How do you cross fjords too deep for bridges and too wide for traditional tunnels? Norway's answer is as revolutionary as it gets, floating tunnels. These submerged roadways, held in place by pontoons or anchored to the seabed, are still in the planning stages but promise to push the boundaries of engineering. Picture driving through a tunnel suspended beneath the water's surface, feeling as stable as driving on solid ground. These floating tunnels will tackle the challenges of Norway's deepest fjords, like the Sognefjord, which stretches over 1,300 meters deep. Such innovation requires not just cutting-edge technology, but also a deep respect for the environment. Norway's engineers are working tirelessly to ensure that these structures coexist with the delicate marine ecosystems they'll inhabit. Bridging gaps, the human side of the highway, what does this highway mean for the people who live along its path? For communities scattered along Norway's western coast, the E39 Coastal Highway is more than an infrastructure project, it's a lifeline. In towns like Tezens, where populations have dwindled by 50% over the past century, the highway offers hope. Take Lars, a fisherman from Haugesund, who has spent years relying on ferries to transport his daily catch to urban markets. Sometimes, a delayed ferry meant losing an entire day's worth of fresh fish, he says. With the new highway, I'll be able to reach my customers on time, every time. Or consider Anna, a young entrepreneur from Alessund, who dreams of expanding her small online business. The highway will not only make shipping faster, but also attract more people to her once remote town. These stories highlight the transformative power of connectivity. 
when isolation turns into opportunity, entire communities can thrive. Nature's Challenge, Fjords, Mountains, and Sustainability How do you conquer nature without destroying it? Norway's breathtaking fjords, while awe-inspiring, are also the project's greatest obstacle. These deep glacial valleys demand innovative solutions, from floating bridges to underwater tunnels. Yet, Norway's approach to the E39 project is one of harmony, not conquest. Advanced environmental impact assessments ensure that construction minimizes disruption to local ecosystems. For example, drilling methods are designed to reduce noise pollution, protecting marine life. Additionally, the project incorporates sustainable materials and renewable energy sources wherever possible. This delicate balance between progress and preservation is what sets the E39 apart. It's not just about building a highway, it's about doing it responsibly. Tourism, in particular, stands to benefit immensely. Norway's hidden gems, from remote villages to stunning natural landmarks, will become accessible to travelers from around the world. Imagine driving along the highway, with fjords on one side and mountains on the other, a journey that feels like stepping into a postcard. Small businesses, too, will see a surge in opportunities. Farmers will reach markets faster, artisans will attract more customers, and local economies will thrive. Experts predict that the highway could add billions of dollars to Norway's GDP annually, making it a worthwhile investment for generations to come. Overcoming challenges, a road paved with hurdles. What's standing in the way of this dream becoming a reality? The E39 project is not without its challenges. Budget overruns, technical hurdles, and environmental concerns have all threatened to derail progress. For instance, the sheer scale of the Rogfast tunnel has raised questions about safety and long-term maintenance. Then there's the issue of cost. At $47 billion, this is one of the most expensive infrastructure projects in history. Critics argue that the funds could be better spent elsewhere. Yet, proponents maintain that the long-term benefits far outweigh the initial investment. Despite the obstacles, Norway's determination remains unwavering. Each completed segment of the highway is a step closer to realizing a vision that once seemed impossible. The global impact, a blueprint for the future. Can Norway's innovation inspire the rest of the world? The E39 Coastal Highway isn't just a national project, it's a global case study in what's possible when ambition meets technology. Countries with challenging terrains, from Japan to Indonesia, are closely watching Norway's progress. By pioneering solutions like floating tunnels and subsea highways, Norway is setting a new standard for infrastructure in the 21st century. These innovations could pave the way for similar projects worldwide, bringing remote communities closer together and unlocking untapped potential. The road ahead, what lies in the future? When will Norway's dream finally come to life? While the entire highway is slated for completion by 2050, Milestones like the Rod Fast Tunnel's 2033 opening show that progress is well underway. As each piece of the puzzle falls into place, Norway is inching closer to a future where travel along its western coast is seamless, efficient, and awe-inspiring. But this is more than a story of roads and tunnels. It's a story of visionaries who dared to dream big, engineers who pushed the boundaries of technology, and communities who believed in a brighter tomorrow. What's your take on this marvel? So, what do you think? Could you imagine driving through underwater tunnels or across floating bridges that redefine the impossible? Norway's $47 billion coastal highway isn't just a project, it's a testament to human ambition and resilience. Which part of this groundbreaking tale fascinated you the most? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more stories that inspire and amaze.